my name is uh, Dusani uh, Reti. I'm one of the high chiefs in the village, Savaya Lefanga. Lefanga is the district. And uh, I've been uh, involved in the village development uh, since about 20 years ago. As far as uh, climate change is concerned, uh, we have uh, uh, witnessed uh, uh, a few more uh, cyclones, strong winds, than normally in the past. After the cyclones in 1990 and 1991, when there was a lot of uh, damage to the corals and the uh, reefs of the village, the village council decided that uh, we should uh, try to do something to uh, get the corals to recover and also to uh, allow time for the fish population to come back. So uh, the village then decided to set up the marine protected area. We have this, uh, I think it's a specific uh, practice it's uh, for for us we uh, we call it the uh, tapu uh, but it's sort of a, like a seasonal ban on uh, harvesting or something like uh, certain species of fish uh, like the krupa uh, there's a certain time of the year when they will be uh, laying their eggs so over the years uh, the corals uh, began to grow back and uh, fishermen uh, were reporting uh, uh, good catches of uh, fish from the marine protected area. So that was very good because uh, it was a good uh, you know, uh, indicator to the villages that this thing can help uh, with the uh, uh, people catching more fish and uh, uh, in terms of uh, people not going too far out into the reefs, uh, into the ocean to, to fish. Uh, because they didn't have the proper uh, equipment to fish uh, beyond the reef. So erosion has been a major problem uh, about, uh, I would say about 15 meters from where the shore is now uh, has been washed away. A lot of people as a result of that have moved inland to higher grounds uh, also to get near to the plantation. We are seeing a lot of uh, different uh, pests and diseases now that we didn't have in the past. And uh, like in the uh, 1990, the, the leaf, taro leaf blight uh, sort of wiped out the, uh, the taro industry in Samoa. And uh, only now that the taro is recovering, the village council also decided that uh, we should encourage uh, village youths to, uh, uh, to work the, the land and also to uh, address the problem of people stealing from other people's uh, plantations uh, because if you don't have enough in your land, you obviously the thing to do or the thing they will do is uh, uh, take it from somebody else and that created conflict with, uh, within the village. So Kulanga sa yele ngunge le fi onge ya sa ngalulue ele ifaya ngalskal mua ngalulue sa idi me ai wa ai ngakas ika yange wa ilu ko fai pa ye ai ngamare ngunge ya ngakas ye lole le afaya skal mua le la ye ilva ika imingi le ele umarulu akal mua le fi onge. We started with uh, small plantations. Now some people are able to plant a lot more than they can eat. So uh, we are now also exporting uh, some of our towers to uh, markets overseas. Afkai ole mo fanga nge ole makiki savaya ole ka ua le ole makou kalo mua e ma ua le makou kalo ma mai fa ka ua kui fafo. We have this thing, the Talumua, it's like an agriculture show where the farmers uh, bring the best of their produce uh, for display and uh, charge by a panel of people. And so they charge for the biggest taros and uh, different varieties of things they have on, the, on the, their stalls. Yeah,
ya ya lai fuo faelea gae ya lai kalo kalo lapoa ya malikia leu koa egakalo felogo kupu elao masai ga mao ia ole kolse lau ea isai kalo lea sa mau aile ekau saga lenke ei <noise> the chine clam was a delicacy in the village for many many years but that began to disappear mainly through over fishing and destructive fishing practices we had this chine clams from palau and and tonga it's quite rare to to see chine clams anywhere in in samoa nowadays so this is a a good attract attraction for for people to come and uh, snorkel around. We uh, we uh, sort of uh, we're open to uh, you know other uses of the marine reserve, uh, especially for recreational purposes. Uh, people can snorkel. People can uh, kayak. We collect uh, fees from people who use the marine reserve. And uh, the money goes into a village uh, bank account. Some of the money that uh, uh, that we collected from the clams have gone into uh, uplifting the uh, sea banks. Uh, and some of the money was uh, we put it into re renovating this house, this building. This is uh, a building for the, the village. And most of it has gone into the the schools. But that money should benefit to uplift the uh, the education of the, the the low income families that cannot uh, afford to put their kids into schooling. So that's one of the the best benefits that we have from. The, the, uh, A very important part of our Talamua is uh, dedicated for our young children. We uh, we provide prizes for kids who uh, come top in their classes. We give them a little bit of monetary prizes just to make them happy and uh, and uh, know that the village, uh, you know, recognize their achievements. So we encourage our kids to uh, <coughs> do well in school and stay in school. These are the sort of things that we are trying to uh, <coughs> uh, address, make sure that uh, you know we maintain the peace and harmony in the in the village, and uh, that people are looking after each other. We are very proud of our village. We think this is the most beautiful village in the country. So I'm so glad to say that. Uh the, the main element behind the development of Savaya are the very smart Savaya people, the very smart Savaya people. Among the chiefs, among the chiefs and, artists, or, and auditors, among the, the, the wives, and among the, the ladies' group, there are, there are so many Savaya smart people. So those are the elements behind the good development of the village. They are the ones governing the village right now. And that's one of the dreams, that's one of our dreams for the young generations now, for them to come up and pee and replace all those smart uh, chiefs and orators who are running the village. Well, my dream and my hope for Savaya is, to, is for our young people to be able to uh, continue to look after our village, our people well and uh, for our young people to become better educated uh, become more responsible and uh, the uh, developments that they are doing now can be uh, continued uh, that's how they will be able to develop their own families so uh, big dream <laughs>